Thanks. What's up? Oh. Hey, what's going on, you guys? My name is Spencer Hodgson, and welcome back to my fourth episode on JSH Builds. Today, I'm going to be making a shelf. But not just any shelf, a shelf with my initials JSH. The materials you're going to need for this video are very simple. You need wood and screws. I have my wood and I have my screws. Um, I got this wood from helping my dad build the um, new barn doors. Um, we got our barn painted and we took down these rotted old doors. Um, and we cut these up for the window part to fit um, on the barn doors. So we just had a bunch of these lying around. And I'm going to put it like this. I'm gonna get this, and there you go. You have a J. Then I'm going to make an S, and then I'm going to make an H. And then I'm gonna put it up in that corner right there. You can't see it because of the um, blanket for the projector right there. Um, so I'm probably gonna have to roll that up for the lighting. Thank you, Daddy, for the shaking of the blanket. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna put that up, and then we're gonna put it right there. So let's get started. Okay, guys, so I screwed it in a little bit, so now I'm just gonna screw in the rest. What do you guys think? It's good. It looks like a T. Okay, guys. So I have the J. Now I'm going to make the S. Okay, guys. So as you saw in the last clip, as I was trying to make this, um, this piece of wood split right in half. So tomorrow I'm going to have to cut another one of these right in half. So this is going to go into tomorrow. So I will see you then. Okay, guys. So it is the next day. And while I'm just up here in the barn, um, because the horses were trying to get in because we let them out and the barn doors were wide open. And sometimes when they get in, uh, they can open up the gate which gets to the food and then they can eat all the food and then they can get fat so while i was here closing the doors i just decided hey why don't i just get a piece of wood and then um cut it in half so then i don't have to go back up to the house get the piece of wood and they can come back down here i can just use these extras here that i have and i might just cut in half so that's what i'm gonna do okay guys so i'm about to measure this out right close to about the middle um, but it was seven inches. This isn't 14 inches, so I can't really cut it down halfway. So I'm gonna just do seven inches here and I'm gonna leave a little extra here for the H part. And then, yeah, that should be good enough. All right, measure it. I gotta get my safety goggles on. Cause you know, safety first kids. And then what I'm going to do is i be pretty sick because, you know, um, I love building. Yeah, that's it. That, that's about it. All right. So when you're cutting, you actually want to start a little bit further off and you actually want to measure from this part right here. So you wanna line it up with the line like that. Make sure it's flat. Whoa! And that's how it's done here on JSH like Bales. Alrighty. There's a um more than halfway of the S. Alrighty, there is the S. Okay guys, so there is the J and there is the S, and now it is time to make the H. Okay guys, so these two pieces actually are not the same length. So, I'm gonna have to go down to the barn, get some more pieces. I'm probably also gonna get a longer version of these to put in the middle, um, cause it's just not wide enough. And it's just gonna be a really small H compared to these two really big J and S. 
So yeah, um, I'm gonna go to another barn, get some pieces, and I'll see you guys down there. Okay guys, so I'm in the barn attic again, and um, I found pieces. So here's gonna be a long piece right here. It's gonna sit up like that. This one's gonna be like that. And then, so the, um, the one that matches this one right here actually has a bunch of dents in it and stuff. So I'm actually just gonna measure up this one to this one, and I'm gonna just cut this one down the length. Um, but then I should be all set. Okay guys, so what I'm about to do right now is measure it to about the same length just so that it doesn't stand out that it's shorter than the other but so that it's close enough so that it looks about the same so there we go it's about right there i'm probably going to cut a little bit past it so i'm probably going to go so there's that so i'm probably going to move this down a bit and i'm going to go right there Alrighty, so I'm gonna get my safety goggles on, which are over here. And then I'm gonna grab, so then I'm gonna put this one aside and I'm gonna cut this one. Now, I'm gonna take these and go finish the H. Okay guys, so I'm gonna screw in this side first, then I'm gonna do that side. Okay guys, so I have the J, S, and the H. Um, and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put the J right here, I'm going to put the S right here, and I'm going to put the H right here, um, because I just feel like that'd be a really cool design for this type of wall. Also, because, um, there's a stud right here, and there's a stud right here, and each stud is about 16 inches apart. So if I would put the J here, I would put it on this stud for the hanger, and I'd put the S right here for the hanger, and then there's going to be an, a stud about 16 inches, which is about right here for the H. I'm just going to move it down a little bit. And then that's what it's gonna look like in the end. Two days later. Okay guys, welcome back. It is day four. I did absolutely nothing for day three. Um, Cause I had no materials, but my dad went out to the hardware store, got all the materials I needed, so now I have everything. And instead of using hangers that are visible um, on the wall when you try hanging the shelf, I'm going to have this piece of wood. This was actually a practice build um, that I made before I start with the JSH, which is over there. Um, so what this does is it's going to attach to the shelf like this. I'm going to nail it down with these right here. They're like just little nails that can hammer into the wood. Um, so it's going to attach like that. This is going to be already drilled into the wall and it's going to stay in the wall with this. This, um, when you put this into here, um, it actually expands like this. It goes out like that. So it won't come out from the wall. So I'm gonna measure out everything where I'm gonna put the uh, screws. And then I'm going to put this into the wall up at the house. I'm actually in the barn right now because it's a beautiful day. Um, and this is where all the materials are. So yeah, let's do it. Take the measuring tape, measure out about seven inches. Take your Sharpie, measure it at about right there. Like that, not the straightest line because this is my lefty and I'm holding the camera with my right. I'm a righty. So now that you have it measured out, you're going to want to cut it with this bad boy and that is what I'm about to do. Boom! What you're going to want to do next is drill a big old hole for um, the screw to go into. So uh, let's do it. Oh, 
Alrighty, there is the hole that the screw is going to go into. Let's just check it out. All right, because you want it big enough so that it's not a challenge to get it in when you want to put it up against the wall. So now that we have the hole, um, you want to, oh, you're gonna want to take this, what's it called again? Drill bit. You're gonna want to take the drill bit See if it's big enough. You want it pretty big, but not bigger than this, because then it would pop right out. So that's about a good size. And you're just gonna wanna do a couple of holes. So I have the wood clamped down. I have this bad boy right here. Good. Okay guys, so just finished cutting it. Now I'm going to attach it on here like that. Let's do it. Voila, I finished this one and I finished this one. It kind of split here, but that's okay. And now it is time to do J and H. Two days later. Oh, so it is day six. Um, so what I'm gonna be doing now for the rest of my videos, I'm gonna post once a week. Um, I'm gonna take my time with my projects so it comes out better. The, the videos are probably gonna be a little bit longer cause I'm gonna take my time with it um, just so that it comes out a better build. But I finished, so here's the J. S and H and now all I have to do is measure out where I'm going to put all these screws because you see here um, these screws are going to go in here like this and then when I put it on it's going to slide in like this and it's going to lock like that so now I have to measure out where I'm going to put the screws I have to make sure they're even um, for each one um, and the way they're actually going to stay into the wall is with this bad boy. Okay, so I found out where I'm going to put the J. I'm going to put it right here and here. So now I'm going to just try and hang it up. Alrighty, so there is the J. Now when I put up the S, I'm going to show you guys how these bad boys work. Okay, so the way that these work is you are going to put this piece into the wall and then you're going to screw this into here. And this starts to expand so that when you try pulling it out of the wall, it will not budge. So now I'm going to put the S right there. Okay, so I just did the J and the S. Now I'm going to put on the H and I'm gonna be done with the shelf. Okay, there it is, J, S, and H. Now it's time to put some stuff on the shelves. I hope you guys enjoyed. Please smash the like button if you did. Subscribe if you haven't already. And I will see you guys in the next episode.